going on guys? It's your boy Jerry Blaze bringing another Pokemon video and welcome back to some more Pokemon Reunion. One of the best series on this channel and honestly, one of my favorite series to record on this channel and you guys have been enjoying it as well you've been letting me know in the comment section that you guys have been feeling it you've been letting me know with the likes you've been letting me know with the new subscribers that have been coming in not only in the comment section but in the live streams as well that was a list i totally bit my tongue in that entire sentence but welcome back my dudes in today's episode we're going to be going on to another mission and if you're excited like i'm excited make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and share it out with your family and friends because it's greatly appreciated and i will love you for it and remember we're on the road to 10k subs by the end of the year and with your help i know we can hit it and when we do hit it I will be dying my hair pink, ombre pink, and getting myself my very first tattoo. So if that's something you want to check out, make sure you get the notification bell on. You follow me on all my socials and you join up my Discord server. And if you're already in a Discord server, just a little heads up, there may be a purge happening soon. So if you're not active in it, you want to get active in it. But with that said, let's dive into things. We got to go through Mount Moon to get back to like Route 3. So this is actually going to be very interesting because we haven't seen Mount Moon at all in this game. We uh, met up with Looker, I believe, like in episode two or episode one. And we just got teleported here to Cerulean City. So we haven't seen what Mount Moon looks like. Okay. It kind of looks sick, not going to lie. It looks kind of sick from the initial, like, entrance way. Ooh, okay. Who is this? Traveler. Oh, it's the professor. Professor, professor Everett. All right, so I have been struggling to give Everett a voice for a while now. Let's let's go with something new, okay? Let's let's do something new and different with his voice, all right? All right, I got it, I got it, I got it. I had to go do some research real quick on how to on how to perform this voice properly. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I'm glad to see you're doing so well. You seem to have been through a lot lately. I want you to come with me with everything you have, you've got. I need to check something. So without further ado, let's face off. Anyway, I'm supposed to stop you from intervening in other universes, aren't I? So fight as if the fate of the universe were at stake. I was not expecting to just straight up battle this dude. Like every time we come across Everett, it's like, you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that. I was not expecting a battle. Also, dude, the music in the game is just so good. Like, I genuinely just love the music that has come out of this game. To the dev of this game, like, you just did an amazing job with, like, encapsulating the, like, the intensity of each and every character. Or not really the intensity, but, like, every song in the game, it feels like it belongs with the character. Like, you have certain remixes for the games that just, or for certain locations that just feel on point. You have, like, certain characters who have, like, just the most badass themes ever. And I'm just like, yes, let's freaking get it. What the hell is that? Also, I apologize if you guys can hear what's happening outside my window. For the last, like... I want to say the last month they've been doing something outside of my house, my house, and it's extremely obnoxious. It's extremely loud, and I just apologize if you guys can hear what's going on out there. Oh my god! Okay, hold up. Does it still have the same weaknesses as a Latios though, or a Latios though? Yo, what un what universe is Everett from? Because I need to go to that. Dude, do you not see this right? Do you not see this mine? This mine is the, one of the coolest mines I've seen across any game. That is a sick Latios. What in the hell? Yo, nah, ev Everett. Let's go, dog. Road trip, baby. Road trip. Let's go. Hold up. I want it. 
I'm beginning to understand now. The reason you're so keen to jump into any dimension regardless of what happens next, you seem to have blind confidence in your Pokemon, as well as in your trainer abilities. Could this be the secret of your strength? Very good. Let me explain. But not here. We're going to my cruiser. We'll be much safer that way. Follow me, please. Okay. Well, here we are. It's in this machine that I cross between universes. The Interdimensional Meta Cruiser, or simply Cruiser, is my ship, if you prefer. I designed it using technology from several universes. Of course, I intend to destroy it when all this is over. Using combined technology from several universes is against more laws than you can count. But I had no choice. The cruiser can withstand several trips between universes and can withstand the, the atmosphere of just about anything. Well, let me explain again why I've come to your universe. Once again, in my universe, I'm a quantum physicist. I've always worked alone. Quantum physics has always been a very complex and under-researched area in my world. A bit like yours, I imagine. So, after years of work, I've devoted my life to the study of parallel worlds. Thesis after thesis, lecture after lecture. I've always wanted to bring the existence of my multiverse theory out into the open. But no one would believe me. All this was purely theoretical, according to my colleagues. So, I decided to prove them I was right. I set up to create a formula for crossing universes. This formula enabled... Okay, hold up. Everything is me for real, because... Dude's peers was like, nah, that's not possible. Nah, that's not a thing. Nah, it's just, it just doesn't work, Everett. It doesn't work. Theodore Everett. I'm making up a, a first name for this guy. Theodore, this just not to work. And it, it, this my man was like, okay, fuck you. I'm gonna make it work. And went out, went out and created a whole formula. Like, the amount of time that this guy probably put in to, like, get this formula is probably insane. This formula enabled me to create a new energy source that would materialize portals to other universes through certain devices. I was able to materialize this energy source in the form of a crystal that I named Astra. Of course, I wasn't aware of the dangers the multiverse could conceal, but I learned the hard way. On my first attempt to travel using the energy of the stone, I found myself in a world. Totally different. I can't describe this world to you. No memory of this world. It's as if my memory of it has been erased. I just remember communicating my formula and its contents to someone. I also remember trusting a certain person. Did my man give? My man straight up gave the formula, the Krabby Patty formula, to 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 Spectra. What in the hell? And Spectra was like. You do not remember this. On some Jedi mind trick. Like, what the hell? I also remember trusting a certain person who, like me, was full of curiosity about the other universes. But I soon realized that this person wasn't going to use this formula to do good. In my memory, I only had time to flee before this person owed my elimination. Of course, they never managed to steal the Astro Stone from me. But with the fact that they've managed to get their hands on my formula, I suppose the worst could happen. Back in my dimension, I realized that time had passed differently. Everyone I knew had already passed away. My name, too, had been forgotten. It seemed like other, like over a century had passed. So time flows different in different universe. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. Like, with how many times we've gone to, like, different timelines, uh, or, like, we've gone to the past, like, it makes sense. Fortunately, I was able to take advantage of my dimension's technological progress, combined with my film, to rebuild a laboratory and restore my research. I then began to analyze the flow of dimensions. To put it simply, imagine a line that forks every time a universe is disturbed. A trip between universes could be one reason for these disturbances, since no one is supposed to travel between dimensions. It was then that I realized that someone had disrupted the flow of dimensions. Several different universes had come into being. Obviously, my first trip must have disrupted this flow. But according to my research, it wasn't supposed to create that many fluctuations. I've come to the conclusion that someone other than me may have traveled between universes. Without, but without my formula and the right skills, it would be impossible to create a device capable of enabling a human to cross dimensions. You guessed it. The person I met on my first trip is therefore responsible for whatever, what's been happening across the universes. 
In fact, I suspect that these individuals capable of traveling between dimensions are using devices powered by fragments of a possible copy of the stone I designed. Besides, from what I understand of your universe, it was also at this precise moment that the Ultra Beasts began to appear. I understand a variant of mine in your universe is studying research in different dimensions. Huh? So we have time variances? What in the MCU hell? There have also been reports of a strange portal appearing, taking people back to a specific time in the recent past. I can't think of all the recent events involving the creation of wormholes, portals, and dimensional portals from your universe. But one thing is for sure. That person whom I met on my first trip is behind it all. I'm sure of it. That's why I wanted to stop you. I didn't want anyone to lose their life because of my naivety. But there is another problem. During my journey to find you in this dimension, it seems that the Astro Stone has not held up due to my previous repeated trips, and it was destroyed in several fragments, all separated in space-time. At the moment, I'm still looking, I'm still working out the exact coordinates of these fragments. Having said that, if we want to get our hands on the person behind all these events, it would be then it would then be necessary to restore the stone by reassembling all the fragments that were separated in other realities. I have an idea about how to use the Astro Stone to find this person we're both looking for. I may not trust anyone ever again, but I have to admit you've got some talent, and it would be foolish not to ask you to join me out of sheer fear of betrayal. So I'm asking you, help me find the Astro Fragments across the different universes. Okay. Good answer. I'm glad to have you by my side now. But, let's be clear, by no means do I trust you 100%, and I could perfectly understand the recep... recep... city. I have never seen that word written out, so that was definitely hard. In brief, I'll contact you when I'm finished locating the fragments. I hope everything is clear to you. Oh, and one last thing. This mission must remain secret. I refuse to put other people at risk, and it would be far too dangerous for several of us to intervene in another universe. Two individuals is already a lot. That being said, I'll send you back to your next mission. May the force be with you. Ain't no freaking way I just made a Jedi mind trick joke, and this guy literally says, may the force be with you. What the heck? Try not to disappear until we meet again. All right, all right, my guy. Wait, why did you spin me back outside the cave, you fuck? Oh, cause it's right inside the cave. I thought it was on like the mountain. I just want to explore real quick. Any items? All right, so before we go and do our mission, there was a comment by Steven Richards that told me how to get the mega stone or the mega ring. Uh, basically, I have to go talk to Mr. Fuji and he will give me the mega ring so really quickly i believe it's one of these houses a gengar what the hell all right here we go red it's so good to see you again how are you feeling how are things i hope everything goes as you wish i hear you managed to defeat the Kanto regionally that's a good thing have you seen what's been happening lately i find it strange besides i wanted to offer you something a strange woman I've never seen around and gave me this box. It contains a, a kind of bracelet with two gems. I have no idea where it came from, but I think you'll probably put it to good use. Let's go! All right, so we now have two Charizard I Ys and X? What? Okay, so I kind of want to go into a battle real quick. Let's go up here. We haven't been up here. Let's go up here. Is that a Team Star member? What the hell? What are you staring at? Do you want a picture? Can I battle you? I'm not in a mood, so don't mess with me. Are you dumb or what? What about, I'm not in the mood, dude. Don't you understand? I really hate this. Find myself on the other side of who knows where in a godforsaken town without a clue as to why. So if you don't want to piss me off, I'd advise you to leave me leave instead of acting like an idiot. You're really going to do that? That's it. I'll show you what it costs to mess with the melt with Mel of Team Star. I'm gonna blow you to smithereens. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo! Ain't no way! Ain't no way! <laughs> I love this game! I love this lob hack! Or this fan made 
fucking game, you have outdone yourself. Oh my God. Oh my freaking God, dude. I love this so much. All right, so we're down to her last Pokemon. Can we Mega? Wait, oh, am I not holding the Mega Stone? Wait a minute. Oh, I'm not holding the Mega Stone. Damn it. All right. Well, we'll finish this battle and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go grab the Mega Stone and I wanna see, I wanna see it. I wanna see it, I wanna see it. You're pretty good. I fought someone as strong as you recently, but I think you surpassed them hands down. I'm lost far from home and now beaten by a stranger. Of course, everything is gonna go, is going around today. All right, I'm getting out of here. I've had it. Hasta la vista. Yeah! Oh my God, yo, I love this game. I love this game so much, dude. Wait, wait, Charizardite DNA Y, DNA X. But these are, wait, these are different. These are different though. What? Oh, okay, so we have two different things. We have the actual Charizard I X and Y. But we also have the Charizard I DNA X and Y. So how do I use the DNA stones? Can someone let me know about that in the comment section down below? Like, cause I'm confused about it. Where are we gonna, where are we gonna appear? We are here in Calosan. I love it now. Dude, oh, yo, this is so sick. This is so sick. We're back in Kalos, baby. No, nah, they did a good job at freaking reimagining this. Yo, they did such a good job at remaking this for freaking like GBA format. Oh my God, this is so sick. Well, those weirdos were right. A trainer in a red cap has arrived to foil our plans. What should we do? Attack? Oh yes, we're not just going to watch it here. Go, we, we go. I totally butchered that dialogue. Wait, they said they were right. Is Spectra and his team here? Uh, I don't like that I'm going into this battle right now with only three max revives. Oh, I don't like this at all. All right, here we go. I'm gonna save just in case something happens. All right, here we go. Well, look who's here. Isn't that our little prodigy? As soon as I heard you were going to be sticking your nose in our business again, I immediately asked Master Spectre to take care of you personally. But it seems I wasn't the only one interested in you. Right, David? I have nothing to say, Goliath. Hurry up. We need to neutralize him as quickly as possible and hand him over to Master Spectra. Don't be silly. We'll get to the bottom of this one in no time. I thought you had another reason in mind. Come on, prodigy. Show us what you've got. I warn you, we're much stronger than last time. Ready, David? When it comes to battling, always. Okay, um... I don't remember their team. Also, David and Goliath, come on, come on. I see you. I see you, Reunion Dev. I see you. Clever, clever, clever. Okay, we beat them. I, dude, okay. I thought that, I thought we were gonna struggle in that fight. I'm not gonna lie. Impossible. You can't be that strong. You're getting on my nerves, that's it. I'm getting out of here before you make a mess. But I swear, the next time I see you, I'll personally take care of you. I hear, looking, I hear you're looking for a way to travel between dimensions other than using ultra wormholes, aren't you? Don't look so surprised. We at Team Kronos have ears everywhere, but no one 
no matter this passion and this strength that you possess and that you put at the service of Pokemon battles. Mr. David, everything is ready to go. We can now look forward to... I hate being cut off. As I was saying, this is what you're looking for, isn't it? A Kronos bracelet. Hey, huh? Hmm. I'd like to ask you a question. Could you become even stronger in such a short time? And are there others like you? Trainers who are just as talented and passionate. Forget what I just said. Here, to celebrate your victory. I'll stop you right there. It's not mine. I just took it from the other, that other joker over there. The only reason I'm giving you this bracelet is because I want to see how far you can take your team. How much stronger you can become in other worlds so I can feel the full force of your passion for fighting. I'd like to apologize, by the way. I've never faced you at 100% of my abilities. The fact is, I don't want to hurt my brother. If he realizes that even his older brother is stronger than he is, he won't be able to take it. But no, but don't worry. Next time we meet, I'll reduce your team to nothing, facing you with all my might. And no one will stand in Master Spectre's way. So Goliath's his brother? What? Well, I guess it's time to go turn in our mission. Uh, I'm gonna heal. As I was about to say, Red! Did you just get back from a mission? How did it go? I see you bumped into those Kronos grunts again. I suppose you've come to report to the boss. Red, I have to tell you something. I, I better tell you about it somewhere else. Meet us at Route 25 near Bill's house. Make sure you're not followed. Dude, this is like what episode like the third episode where i get ready to wrap it up and somebody like somebody interrupts us like before i get ready to end the episode what the heck all right i guess we'll go see what lilith needs why is basil here there you are red ab <clears throat> yo red what's up buddy well can you remember people now it seems to me that you've been on several missions together. Yeah, it's a bit late now. If you only knew how much we've been through. Well, that makes it easier. All right, come on, spit it out. Why'd you call us both out here like this, huh? I was just getting ready to leave on a mission. Calm down. Let me explain everything first. As you can see, the HQ is swarming with police. Unfortunately, they are not a part of the Dimensional Squad. They are high-ranking members of the International Police. I don't know how, but they all seem to know all about the worm Ultra Wormholes. I understand they've taken the Chief in for questioning. They are also aware that he has secretly enlisted other trainers to help with the investigation. In other words, they know that he is acting independently of the International Police. Wait, 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 wait! So, you're telling me Luca was acting independently without any help from the international police. He was doing this shit illegally? The fuck? But that's impossible. Considering the amount of secrecy involved, we agreed not to tell anyone about the D squad. Someone must have told the police. I highly doubt that. The other D-Squad members in other regions would never have done such a thing. Everyone loves the Chief and no one would dare betray him like this. And the gym leaders are also close to him and trust him completely. Which means that the person who was able to bring concrete evidence against the Chief had already been investigating him for some time. It's what's his name? It's what's his name? Surprising reasoning skills. You! You little shit! Why are you ruining shit for us? What What do you want? Well, well, looks like the whole team is here. Nice to see you again, Red. So, what's interdimensional travel like? I beg your pardon? How do they... It wasn't Red who told this guy everything, was it, Lilith? 
Red would never do something like that. Believe me, you're not even close. Red has nothing to do with it. Let's just say I've been doing my own thing. Did you think you were the only ones investigating these ultra wormholes? Don't be stupid. You're starting to piss me off. You better start showing us some respect. Basil, stop it. There's no point. So I guess you're the one behind Looker's arrest. You're good at trying to hide what you want. I heard you call Looker Chief earlier. But then you instantly changed the way you talk to cover your tracks. Rather clever. But it's no use. I know the three of you are in cahoots. Any idiot could have figured that out. Hey, genius, can you just shut up? I'm going to make you swallow your words. You'll see. Basil, that's enough. I imagine that you must have some demands if you're doing all this. Or maybe you have some other motivation behind it. Demands? Motivations? None. I think you've got the wrong idea. Let's just say that I'm not a fan of the schemes pulled off by the incompetent looker. You're just insult you're insulting the boss in front of us? Do you really think we'll let you get away with that? I'm going to smash your face in here and now. Basil, that's enough. Stop right there. This guy needs to be smashed. Oh god. <clears throat> First recording, I don't have water with me. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and you're going to let him insult the boss like that? After all he's done for us? Quite the contrary. I don't want you to give in to violence against him, because that would be giving him the upper hand. Let's me, let me be clear with you. Your motivation is up to you, and you have every right to stand in our way. However, I will no longer tolerate you disrespecting that man in front of me. Scary. <clears throat> It's scary. Even the most dangerous players never gave me such a fright. But seriously, there's no need to get carried away. Once again, it's nothing personal. To tell you the truth, I'm rather surprised, in both good and bad ways. Huh? What do you mean, surprised? Are you crazy? On the contrary, I'm surprised that trainers are stupid enough to follow the instructions of a mere stranger, all the while putting your lives in danger. We don't have a choice, do we, you moron? Who'd save the world if we didn't? On the contrary, I was getting to that. I wish you wouldn't keep cutting me off. I also admire the fact that there are such courageous trainers, although I've yet to decide whether it's courage or recklessness. I'd like to point out that you're very unlikely to come back every time you enter one of those things. We're aware of the risk, and we are sure. Every time one of us steps into a portal, every time we embark on a new mission, we have only one thing in mind, saving this dimension and the people in it, good or bad. Altruism? So that's what drives you to act. I'm willing to accept that. That said, you should start by finding out more about the person hiring you. What do you mean by that? Looker, as you call him. I scoured and researched several old newspaper articles about him, but turned up nothing. Everything dates back to two years ago at the earliest. Do you know what that means? But it only, it's only been two or three years since the boss arrived at Kanto, you idiot. Of course you won't find anything else about him. Keep quiet if you're just going to keep talking for no reason. I'm really going to get him. I'm really going to... Basil, please, let's finish this. Hold up. All right, guys, I'm going to go get some water because holy crap, am I getting lightheaded. So one second. Okay, I'm hydrated, I'm ready to go, let's get it. I'm aware that he's only recently arrived in Kanto. That said, no one mentions a single looker in any of the older articles in any region. I suspected it was a code name, but then again, nothing matched. There's no trace of a private detective or of an agent acting on his own. I was even able to access several years worth of police records, and according to my source, you discovered that the identity documents your dear looker provided were forged. What? But so what? We don't care about that. The most important thing is that he's acting for peace now. You understand what I'm getting at, don't you? You look at you look a little smarter than your other friend there. What a loser. Chief would be no matter. All the same, I respect your courage. That's why I've come to bring you this information. Do as you like is all the same to me. Just a moment. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why does this sound like 
something that would be played in Ruby. Oh my God. Hmm. I can't condone what you're doing. I understand that, but I can't excuse your actions. That said, you don't seem to be aware of what's happening right now in other dimensions. Have you even thought about it? What do you, what do you mean? Hey, Lilith, you're not going to tell him everything, are you? It's supposed to be top secret. At this very moment, an organization is putting everything in place to strike across dimensions. You can imagine what will happen to our region if we refuse to intervene. In fact, we're on the verge of finding a link between the organization and the ultra wormhole phenomenon in our region. Interesting. Tell me more. These people use a kind of device to travel between dimensions and intervene in several timelines. They're trying to do something, but we don't know what. This is why we put our lives on the line and why we chose to follow the chief. Now, without the chief, there's no dimensional squad. And without the dimensional squad, it's impossible to act freely to catch these criminals. Is where you land pre predetermined when you go through these portals? No, and I said no. We're going in blind, taking our courage in both hands. You're even more oblivious than I thought. What do you mean? How do you plan to catch these guys? As you said, they can move freely between dimensions, but not you. Also, clearly you're navigating between dimensions. Imagine for a moment, you could find yourself in a universe totally opposed to our own or bring something to a universe that could be harmful to it and thus bring about the end of a world. Have you thought about it? it? Is that true, Lilith? It's true that it's a possibility, but... But that's not all. You could well provoke a multiversal war if something goes wrong. And you're asking me to join you? Seriously? You're surprised that I spend all my time insulting your boss, but take a look. You're not even aware of what you're doing. If lunatics decide to attack our dimension and there's nothing we can do about it, then so be it. What is it? Is that it? What kind of cowardly talk is that? Are you going to let these guys turn our dimension upside down without even trying to stop them? Don't you have anything to protect? Do you want to let yourself die just like that? Shut up, kid. You don't know what you're talking about. He's right, and deep down you know it. Your intelligence and reasoning skills could, be, could really come in handy. You should be using your ability to help us save the world, not just for your own personal use. It's true that the danger of the multiverse is real, but we just can't let ourselves be taken advantage of like that and leave our universe and our dimension at the mercy of just anyone. We have to act, and if we have to accept the consequences, then we'll do it. You're all a bunch of fools. The world is, no, is not so rosy. People only act in their own inter interests. Just look at the players at the game corner. They only want one thing. They want to make money and improve their quality of life, no matter if they have to match someone else's bet. Nobody acts out of selflessness anymore, the way you believe they do. What's more, you run the risk of creating an imbalance between universes. It's stupid. That's where you're wrong. It may be stupid or meaningless to you, but whether it's Red, Basil, or me, we take no satisfaction in having our names glorified for our actions. We just want to do everything we can to put our strength at people's service. This world may be corrupt, but it's not a lost cause. If we all act together for a common cause, that's great, then great things can happen. You're the one who likes to thwart the chief's plans. You should be protect you should help us. You should be helping us protect the world. There's nothing to stop you getting in his way again. But right now, we need all the strength we can get. Huh? You want to recruit this creep? What does Lil think? I refuse to work with him. I've heard enough. I'm going to have I'm going to have to prove to you all that you're on the wrong track. What? You want to fight? You bet. I'm your man. No thanks. According to my sources, Red is the one of the best members of your feeble team. I don't want to deal with Small Fry. You dirty bet. Stop it, Basil. Let's trust Red. I'm sure he'll win. <sighs> I know that Red is going to absolutely ruin this buffoon. I don't doubt it for a second. How touching. You seem so sure of yourself. Very good. But reality may be harder to accept. So show me that you have the strength to back up your claims. I wanted to end the video! Its ability is what? Oh, you have to die. I will say, I love the fact that there are custom abilities in a game, but holy crap, is it annoying!
Let's go! Dude, double or nothing's a sick ability. It's kind of like Moxie. <sighs> He's not that bad, actually. But now it's my turn. Basil, please calm down. Although your power is hit indeed real, I won't change my mind about you. You're just a bunch of careless buffoons who have no idea how dangerous the multiverse is. And even the three of you can't predict what will happen. I'll ask you one more time. Vincent, right? With your ability to reason and your talent for Pokemon battling, you'd be a great help. So put aside your feelings and join us. Who knows? It could be a way to beat the chief fair and squared to prove you're better than him by officially taking part in the investigation. Right? Damn. Damn. Lilith with the silver tongue. Damn. Got him. Do what you want. I will not participate in his madness. Oh, I thought we got him. What a moron. So, what do we do now, eh? I have no idea. Perhaps we should try to prove the chief's innocence. But that's impossible. First of all, you'd have to prove the authenticity of your identity and try to deny the actions of the D-Squad. But I doubt anyone will listen. But maybe. How about we ask someone in the, at the League for help? Precisely. I was getting to that. Perhaps we can ask the League to intervene on our behalf. They all know about Looker. Unfortunately, we have to solve his identity problem. If the members of the League find out, they're likely to doubt the Chief too. And then, all will be lost. By the way, you were about to say something about the boss. What did you figure out from what the other guy was saying? I'll tell you about it later. Right now, we have to split up to have a better chance. I'll, can't, I'll contact Claire, Claire, Blackthorn City's gym leader in, Jota, in the Jota region, since I already know her. I'll also take the opportunity to gather information on that strange fellow we met on that mission. Basil, you go to Viridian City and ask Blue for help. Be discreet, please. And you, Red, try to find a way to prove the Chief's identity. Unfortunately, we're going to have to use the legal means to sneak into the police database. If you can find anyone who knows their way around a computer, you absolutely must tell them about our problem. Well, we'll be in touch D via DCOM. All right. Let's get to work, D-Squad. All right, with that said, we're gonna wrap the video up right there. So, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and share, share the video out with your family and friends because it's greatly appreciated and I will love you for it. And remember, we're on the road to 10K subs by the end of the year, and when we hit that goal, I'll be dying my hair pink, ombre pink, and getting myself my very first tattoo we now have a guild mark now we now have a new guild mark and a whole channel rework so let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are of the channel rework and with that said i'm gonna get up out i'm jerry blaze with me in everything you do i love you thousand and i'll catch you in the next one Peace.